Crochet techniques. The foundation half double crochet. Left handed. To download a guide with our five favorite tips to improve your crochet skills right now, visit newstitchaday.com slash five crochet tips. For this tutorial, you'll need the following materials. A crochet hook and a ball of yarn. A special thanks to our sponsor Lion Brand for providing today's yarn. Today we are using their Lion's Pride Wool Spun, available exclusively at Michael's Craft Stores and lionbrand.com. In the color, Oxford Gray. The foundation half double crochet is a method of beginning your work. And it has two advantages over doing the traditional chain and then working back over your chain stitches. The first advantage is you can build your fabric as you go. So if you're doing a project like a blanket uh, that needs to be a specific size but you're not quite sure what that size is, this will allow you to continue working your foundation row um, and you can sort of measure as you go. Whereas if you were just doing the chain, your fabric might expand or um, contract even depending on what you're doing and so you're not going to be quite sure how that finished project is going to turn out. The second advantage is that it saves a little bit of time. You don't have to do a whole row of chain stitches and then come back and do another row. You actually create your foundation row along with your first row of stitches all at the same time. So let's show you how we do this. For step one we're going to make a slip knot which I've already done and we'll place that on our crochet hook and then we're going to chain three. All right, now for step two, we're gonna yarn over and we're gonna insert our hook into that first chain that we just made. For step three, we're gonna yarn over and draw through. Then for step four, we're gonna yarn over and draw through the first loop on our hook. Now for step five, we'll yarn over again and we're gonna draw through all three loops that are on our hook. Alright, so that's going to make our first uh, stitch. So we're going to start again. This time we're going to start from the yarn over. So we'll yarn over and we're going to go into the bottom of the stitch that we just made. So we can see the stitch is right here. We're going to insert our hook into the stitch right underneath these two loops of the chain. So we can see we have kind of these two bars of fabric here. We want to make sure we pick up both of those. All right, now we're going to yarn over and we're going to draw through those two loops or the two little bars. And then that's going to leave us with three loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over and draw through just the first loop. And then we'll yarn over and draw through all three loops that are on our hook. Now again, this can be a little bit tricky, so let's do this a couple more times. So we're going to yarn over, we're going to insert our hook into what looks like this little V here. Okay, we can see there's sort of a V. We're going to go right in the middle of those. Okay, and again, we want to make sure that we pick up these two loops that are on the side right here. Then we're going to yarn over and draw through those two bars or loops and then we'll yarn over and draw through the first loop, then yarn over and draw through all three loops that are on the hook. All right, so I'm gonna do that for you just one more time, just because this can be a pretty tricky technique. We're gonna yarn over, we're gonna come right into that V, that middle of that V. Remember to pick up these two bands, or two bars of the loop here. Yarn over and draw through. Yarn over and draw through the first loop, and yarn over and draw through all three loops. So there we go. That's how we do the foundation half double crochet. Hey, I'm Johnny Vasquez, founder of New Stitch A Day, and your teacher for this tutorial. I want to thank you so much for taking the time to learn from us. If you'd like to see more videos just like this, we produce new content every single day. Hence, New Stitch A Day.
you can click the subscribe button so that you don't miss a single stitch. And if you click one of the links to the side here, you can see the previous stitch in our series or the next stitch in our series. And if you click this link, you'll be able to see one of my favorites. And don't forget, you can also download a PDF with the written instructions for this tutorial by clicking or using the URL link that's on the screen. Again, I want to thank you so much for learning with us, and I hope that we've helped make your knitting and crochet skills a little bit better today. Yarn on.